Good morning, everybody. It is uh, early Monday morning, and uh, this is it. Uh, yeah, I had to shave and get a little haircut because, uh, as I mentioned, business has to come first. And uh, I've got some clients coming in and uh, some other things that I've got to take care of. So I had to, uh, I had to have a haircut, I had to shave. So uh, I'm on my way to the YMCA right now and uh, going to do my training and uh, on, a, on another week of uh, fine eating. I'm actually going to do something a little different this week. I'm going to do double, I'm gonna do double splits with the cardio. I'm going to do cardio in the morning do my exercise and then at night time before I go to bed I'm going to pick it up and do a little more cardio there just to make sure that I get that weight off because next week is going to be a little difficult with the move and all that stuff to make it into the gym so I just want to make sure that I get down to my uh, to at least my goal for this month which is uh, 225 so I think after shaving off that hair and that uh, beard I probably am already there but <laughs> nah I'm just joking anyways um, onwards and upwards and uh, have a good week or ha you're seeing this at night, so, well, yeah, have a good week. I hope you have a great week. I'm going to have a good week. Hope you have a good week, too. Talk to you soon. It's another snowy day here in Moncton, and I'm just leaving the house. Just leaving our, that's our rent. That's what we're renting right now. It's the house we're renting. It's a lovely little house. So, well, it looks like a lovely little house. Um, looks are a little deceiving, though. Um... Anyways, uh, just getting so used to the... Yeah, I, I noticed something today. People with facial hair get treated differently than people without facial hair. And, I, and I, that's the truth. It's the same thing that you know, you've seen research and studies done on uh, people who are obese compared to people who are attractive and lean and mean and all that good stuff. It is true. You get treated differently. Um, appearance does mean something I mean as far as the way people act towards you when I had my hair face going on I had my beard my mustache and wasn't shaved and I looked kind of dirty and I looked more like a construction worker kind of a thing and I seriously people people looked scared of me they, they would avoid eye contact and they would walk right by me without saying a word or anything today I'm all clean shaved and stuff and I'm walking around and people are absurdly friendly um, I don't mean that in a bad way but it's just really bizarre how how different it is compared to when I had the beard strange that's quite a social uh, study that I'm doing here and uh, it is true that you get treated differently if you have facial hair as compared to if you don't have facial hair so now that I don't I'm actually getting you know smiles and hellos and all kinds of things like that so it's kind of neat to know um, I guess just a thing to consider a thing to think about um, if you're considering growing a beard. I guess it depends how you grow it too. I mean, my beard was pretty nasty looking. It wasn't really clean. I wasn't clean shaven. And There's people who have really nice, clean looking beards and are very friendly and very nice. And I'm not saying the people with beards aren't, anyways, because there's a lot of clean shaven people that are, that are, well, that are morons. I'm not going to name any names. But let's just say that um, people with scruffy looking facial hair get treated differently than people who are clean cut. That's all I got to say about that. So I don't, I, I don't make the rules. I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's right, but that's, that is just, that's what it is. That's how it is. So it is a snowy, wet, disgusting day out here today. And I'm just heading to the house because, uh, I've been, I've spent the last four or five hours, uh, working on some, uh, real estate stuff and some court stuff. And, uh, I'm just on my way to the house now to see what uh, has transpired over the last couple of days. I know the guys were there until 1.30 last night, 1.30 in the morning, working and painting. So I was very, very happy to hear that. Two thumbs up for those guys. And uh, so I'm just on my way there now to see what's what and to see uh, if they need anything or if I can do anything. I've got some stuff to bring to storage and uh, i got to go pick up Johnny Ka. And then tonight, I'm taking my lovely bride to see Doc Walker in concert. Um, Monique and I have not been out to a concert in a long time, just the two of us. So we're going go to go to the Doc Walker concert. And uh, I, I mentioned before I was going to go to the Gaither Gospel concert, but I'm not going to that now because that same week, Janika has her very first dance competition. 
Um, Janika has been dancing for 13 years now and has not once been in a competition. They don't do a lot of competition, or they didn't do a lot of competition at the schools that she was at before. But the school that she's at now, they do compete and she's really looking forward to that. So after taking approximately, I say 13 years, about 12 because she took a year off. Uh, she hurt her foot and uh, after getting accepted into the Royal Winnipeg Ballet, I think it was just overwhelming and too much for her. So she needed a little break, took a little break, but now she's back full force, loving every second of dancing six days a week and uh, is going in her first competition in April. Uh, April, yeah. And um, so I'm taking her to that in Halifax and that should be a fun, fun time. But again, it just means I can't go to the Gathers, but that's okay. Uh, I've seen them twice already, so I'll get to see them again some other day some other time. So that's all for now. That's it. That's all.